Hello, planner friends. It's Amber from Amber Planter Day. I'm coming on to make a Halloween movie list for us to kind of track all of the Halloween movies that we are watching. This video is kind of in honor of Hocus Pocus 2 coming out today. Um, we love Hocus Pocus, so I think it's going to be really fun to... Um, just have a list of movies that we want to watch and like show to our kids and just all the different things So I do have most of the movies we have on our watch list are on Disney plus some of them may not be um, but most of them are and that is Kind of where we're going to be starting um, with this really really cute seasonal um, Disney sticker book, which honestly, there really isn't that much Halloween in here. Oh, what in the world? Sometimes stickers do that. Just got to try from a different angle. Put this one down here. Cute. Okay. And then I want to use a brush pen. Should I do like black and orange let's do it let's just do black and orange go for it hollow I, I'm always so scared to smear Halloween and let's go with the black movie list so scared it's just like tense to like have that fear of smearing smearing the stickers but it did not happen which is good so good okay i want i thought this sticker book had quite a few more halloween stickers but it really doesn't so i'm gonna be looking i don't know if this Book has anymore I think this is the book that Ezra used for a spread yeah okay that one's all gone that's okay try to keep a few copies of everything <laughs> around um, okay cute yeah well not cute spooky this is a needlepoint play tool so many people have asked me where this comes from it is so helpful to get stickers off if you're ever like if it ever happens like that like you can get this point in there i absolutely love this tool but so helpful for lifting stickers up and just all of the things okay since this has a spider web i feel like it makes sense to put a spider web over here kind of fill in this space also and then like look at how cool it looks kind of going over that and um okay at least for now let's grab this autumn boxes sticker book from mojo jojo plans this is last year's version of it and we have these boxes. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Between seven and eight um, movies for our list. One of them, the reason, like I say, between seven and eight is because. 
One of them is Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2. And then like we also have Halloween Town, which Halloween Town is probably my ultimate favorite. And like, sorry if I'm offending anyone when I say that, but I personally think Halloween Town is better than um, um, Hocus Pocus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this one, seven. I think I will. Yeah, I think I will add this one right here. Okay. So let's write in the movies. We're going to write in like a few different fonts here, I think. So we're going to grab the same. This is a Pentel sign brush pen. That's what I used for up here. I used the color ones and the black one. And then we'll grab this and I think that's it. Okay. So in these like smaller ones, well, actually in this small one right here, I can hand letter Coco, which is one of our kids's and mine. I love this movie so much. It is so good. So Coco. And then in one of these longer ones, I think we're going to need to evaluate Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I kind of wonder if I should use some of this orange pen. Whenever you're like not brush lettering, you just have to take it slow. You can use these for like regular writing. It just takes time. Nightmare before Christmas, which is another good one. Cute. Um, I'll probably use that color again at some point. And then, okay, now we, we definitely want to watch Hocus Pocus. So I think we're going to kind of write that like in a really cool. Hocus. And then to add, I think I'm on this one specifically, I'm going to write two. Two with an exclamation point because that one's new. It's so good. Okay, now let's do Haunted Mansion, which is... Um, kind of a comedy I guess it is like I don't know if my kids will think it is but haunted mansion okay there's also like a Muppets version of this. So I guess like that could work if the kids are like pretty scared. Okay, we're gonna do Coraline right here. C O Cor A. Please fit I N E. Okay, it kind of fit. It kind of fits. Ugh, this one, it kind of looks like, okay, hang on. Hear me out. Let's see if we can fix this. To me, this looks kind of like a D, and I think it's because the line of the A and the um, L are touching. So we're going to let that dry. I use this Uniball Signo white gel pen to color, and then I'm going to just do a shorter orange line when the time comes. Then let's do... Casper, definitely a Casper. Okay, see, that's good. Then let's try to 
like fix this just a little bit. Okay, I definitely like that a lot better. Honestly, you guys probably can't even tell, but <laughs> Halloween Town, that's like one of my favorites. All of them. I think I'm going to write that in the orange. I think that'd be fun. All of them with an exclamation point. I love Halloween Town. Okay. So, okay. So I had the nine ones for Christmas, Hocus Pocus 2. Let's just write Hoc regular Hocus Pocus then in this one. Yeah. We're just going to write regular Hocus Pocus. And I think we're going to do it with orange. Pocus. Pocus. Now let's fill in some Q elements. I guess like I'm kind of bummed. I thought this might have had more Halloween stickers in it. Um, but it just, it really doesn't. It doesn't have like any other Halloween stickers in it besides the one I used and then just say boo. But these could look really cute because they're like the Mickey hens and um, they have like, they match the colors. I feel like we should put the sticking out tongue by Haunted Mansion because it is funny. Um, let's, do, let's do a couple more maybe. That one looks kind of scared. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And then I think what I'm going to do for the rest of this space, well, actually, I kind of want to leave like... I kind of want to put, okay, this is you guys. This is what, this is our interactive video for the day. <laughs> I'm putting two empty boxes in here and I'm going to pick two of the comments that you guys like suggest for Halloween movies and they don't necessarily have to be kid friendly. Mike and I watch Halloween movies too. Um, you know, like when the kids go down for bed or whatever. So you guys can totally tell us like adult movies too. Not super scary, but you know, more, more adult movies is fine. I don't know. I kind of like it just like this. Okay. I think we're going to leave it. I mean, literally like there's one, two, three, four, five decorative stickers. That's it. And I just think it turned out really cute. So I just want to leave it. I just want to leave it. So let me know two more movies that I should add to this list. And that's it. We made it. Oh my goodness. I love it. I cannot wait. Friday night movie nights are always so fun with popcorn, with the kids, everything. And then this time, like for the next few weeks, probably a little bit longer, we'll get to focus on some fun, spooky movies. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye, babes.